welcome back. Um, thank you, first of all, so much for all of your support over um, the most recent vlog series. I had so much fun making it and even more, I think, editing it. I think for me, that's one of the reasons, well, probably the reason why I make these videos is, is for me to have like holiday videos to look back on. And the fact that other people enjoy them as well just adds to the fun of it. Um, now, if you're anything like me, you love to know what people bought while they were away. And I do have a few things that I am looking forward to showing you all. Um, so I've kind of split it up into things that I got for free, um, things that are Disney, and then non-Disney items and slash food <laughs> items. I did spend quite a bit on food on this trip to the point where I went over on my suitcase and I had to pay an extra load of money to uh, get my suitcase back. But we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> So without further ado, uh, let's start off. I will try and do that clever thing where you leave chapters below and then you can skip to whichever bit you are most interested in. So let's start with the stuff that I did not have to pay for. I mean, let's be honest here, nothing in life is free. I did have to pay for these. They just kind of came with things. I didn't buy these outright. So we're gonna start with my very cute little rubber ducky. <laughs> I mean, what a great start to the haul video. I know what you guys came here for. Um, essentially, I got this at the um, boathouse uh, and there was a um, drink there called Raz, Razzle Duck or Raz Duck or something. I'll leave the name below. Um, but this was a really, really yummy, bright blue drink that basically had a little rubber duck in it. So it was like a duck in a bath and it was great. So thoroughly recommend if you're in Disney Springs, go to the boathouse. They've got um, a bar it's first time come it's first come first served and it like is out over the water so it's a really nice place to just sit and chill um again on the on the theme of drinks that i had uh, i i have no recollection of what drink this was in but i got a glowy a glowy glow clue a glowy ice cube um and then now this next item actually was entirely free and i i still think this is a bit of a hidden gem of animal kingdom but if you go over to rafiki's planet watch which you get via the train which is right next to the safari ride in africa and um, they do drawing classes and they're every 45 minutes and I love doing this it's a really chilled out part of the day doesn't cost a penny and you get to draw I mean I can't draw and yet I managed to produce that when we went three years ago I drew a Simba which I was really proud of um so yeah I mean poor eels got a bit crumpled I didn't take that much care of him but I you know thought I'd show you this is something that you guys can easily access and it doesn't cost a penny would say on that though they go very very fast so if you have young ones or grown ones <laughs> that get stressed out and don't like it when they can't keep up with something maybe not for you i think they do offer coloring in versions as well but the plain drawing one that can be a that can be a stress to keep up again i mean arguably paid a lot for the room but didn't pay for this and um, this was the letter that we got from tiana it came as a little scroll we were handed in handed it to us at check-in um and then this was also kind of part of the design on the table um so you'd have seen that in the room tour but um that was a really lovely way to start the trip and again if you have little ones that would be how special would that be your own personal note from princess tiana uh, welcoming you to your room um, you'll have seen in the vlog series that um, Ellie and I bumped into Adam Hatton and Gary C um, and if you haven't been watching their most recent vlog series you absolutely should do and um, I adore their vlogs and it was just such a treat to meet them they are the nicest guys in the world and Adam did give both Ellie and I a little morning pin how lovely is that so as you're aware i am a pin collector so this will be going pride of place on my pin board we were very excited that when we went to epcot this year that we were there for food and wine we've been in the past and we've only been able to access it for like a day so for food and wine to be there for our entire trip was really really exciting um so we've got our food and wine passports and in this it essentially it goes around the world showcase and it tells you every single item um, that's available and these are totally free you pick them up next to the park maps at the front at the park and I just used this to tick off what I ate and score it as I went along. I mean, my favourite thing I think that I had while at the food and wine was from the boar sand stool and it was a maple pecan cheesecake. Oh so good, so light, refreshing, Mwah. delicious. Right, free but not the reason why I've got this. This is verging into the food category so excuse me while I skip around. Um, I caved and jumped on the Gideon's bandwagon. 
Um, now, we were quite fortunate because we only had to queue about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to, to get to the front of the line and buy our cookies. Um, but while you're in the line, they give you this, which is essentially the menu. It's quite a good idea if you ask me, because it means when you get to the front, you've had a good look at the menu and you know exactly what you want to get. But um, I ended up buying a few cookies. I bought a couple of the originals and then I also bought the flavour of the month, which was the key lime pie which is actually delicious the Gideon's cookies are quite overpoweringly sweet I will add it's nice chocolate because sorry if you guys are from the states but your chocolate is not very nice um but it was nice chocolate but very overpoweringly sweet of course it would be with the amount of chocolate chips they put in there but the zest and the lime that came through in the key lime pie flavor oh it was good it was really really fresh really enjoyed it and also good to know they last a couple of days um i brought a couple home as i said and um kept them in a tin oops and kept them in a tin and they were still good a few days later so very much enjoyed having them right let's jump into the disney merchandise section of this video so i'm going to kick you off with my pins now i joined the pin trading club while i was away usually i buy my individual pins and they are mine to keep and i'm not going to trade them but i did get myself a little lanyard because i want i i just when we went three years ago i just really enjoyed seeing ellie do her trading and i thought i wanted to join in on fun too so i bought myself this lanyard which was like a snack themed lanyard and i did keep one so it came with four pins uh, and this was the one out of the four that i kept so you can see there is goofy there was also one of mickey minnie and donald each holding a different snack item i think like popcorn candy floss and i can't remember what the fourth thing was but then the rest of them i traded so i got the four of those and then i also got a mystery pack of stained glass beauty in the beast windows and this was the one that i kept from there and then finally i got the 50th anniversary mystery pack and again i kept figment um, but I traded out, I got a robot, I didn't actually know who he was. I think he might be linked to the people mover, but anyway, I didn't know he, who he was, so uh, I got rid of him. Um, so other ones that I traded for, I just find this so exciting, like I traded for these. So I got a Little Mermaid, uh, got my boy Herc, how exciting is that? I mean, I was thrilled when I found that one. This one's really cool. So this pin is like the same age as me. She's from the early 90s. So have I just made that up? Was it the early 90s or was it later? Anyway, that's a really old pin, which is quite exciting. I got a little buzz themed Mickey and then I got Mickey and his main number one pal, Donald Duck. So that was my pin trading escapades. I am now converted. This is coming with me every trip from now on so that I can always enjoy a bit of an old pin trade. Now for me, I, um, when I stay on Disney property, I have to buy the accompanying pin. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not my all time favorite pin ever, but it's Riverside. So I had to get it, I just had to. Um, it was obviously the 50th when we went out there. So got Chippendale to commemorate the experience. And these are all yellow so far. So that was $9.99, that was $9.99. This was yellow. I'm sorry, I don't remember how much that actually came to, but yellow's one of the cheaper colors. Um, and then the other two were limited edition, so they were a little bit more expensive. So this was $17.99, and it was to commemorate the Food and Wine Festival. Um, I particularly like this because it did have figment on. I don't usually get things with dates on, but given that we were there for the Food and Wine, in 2020 i didn't mind and then finally i think this is my favorite pen that i got on the trip uh, again 17 dollars 99 and it's the five year anniversary of the opening of pandora in animal kingdom and um, so i was i was lucky enough to be there the summer that this opened i wasn't there for opening but i was in the first few months of pandora opening i adore that part of animal kingdom and then i'm there again five years later so really really like that and wanted to add that to the collection right sticking on the disney theme um i got myself on the first day the disney magic band plus now this was 35 dollars gonna be honest do i think it was worth the money no i do not um i think it might be fun to have one magic band plus per party um but i do not think you need every single member of your group to have one of these um it did light up in things like harmonious and enchantment but you just feel it buzz you're not sat there looking at your watch you're 
looking at the fireworks so didn't really notice it that much it didn't it didn't even light up that much to be honest so i didn't really notice it that much in the fireworks shows it was really fun waving at the gold statues and collecting them and I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, so I didn't use it as a bounty hunter. So maybe if we'd used it for bounty hunting, it might have felt a bit more worth the money. And quite likely they'll probably bring in other things that are more interactive with this. But in general, I would just stick with the normal magic band. So the other thing that I found about these, I was going to sell this on, but I found out you're not allowed to, um, you can't reinstate them to other people. So that's a bit frustrating because it's just, you know I could have given that to someone you know but oh well doesn't matter um right I have also got myself um a pair of gym shorts um I love these I mean I'd say it's subtle but they're not um but I just really love the pattern I love the design of them they're super super comfy to wear they're quite long so for me just lounging around the flat the I so comfy i've really really enjoyed wearing them i actually wore them on the plane flight home um, and very much enjoyed that okay moving on now this next item was something oh i should also say the shorts were i think around 40 dollars. so just in case because i know people are interested in that kind of thing now this next item was 27 dollars, and it was something that i'd kept seeing throughout the trip and i really really wanted to buy it but i was worried it would be too heavy and then basically i got to a point in the trip where i knew my bag was just going to weigh too much so i thought why not just buy <laughs> why not just buy it because it's not going to implicate you any further um and it's this it's a little soup a little soup dispenser definitely not soup it's a little soap dispenser and as i said this was 27 dollars. it's made of like pottery which is really nice i filled it up with soap it's lovely i have it by my kitchen sink um and i like to think it's fairly subtle so you know i like it and it's a nice addition to my kitchen this next item was the first thing i bought i knew i knew i was going to go get it because for the last three trips that i've been out there i've so nearly bought it so nearly bought it and then caved but this time i knew it was happening and i've already used it so much and it is the disney world or disney parks i should say monopoly um i thought this was something i might be able to buy on amazon for cheaper it's not you can only get it in the disney parks hence why i've now bought it um, but as i said already played it several times love it I, it for me it just like brings back memories while i'm playing it it's got loads of the rides on it um things like the they're called magic and fantasy cards rather than community chest and um chance but they've got like figment on there and oh i just it's so good it's got a pop-up castle in the middle and i just love it i love monopoly so it was always going to be a win-win you know and that came to 50 dollars so not cheap but in my eyes i've now got this forever because i'm gonna look after it <laughs> and then last up before we move into kind of the disney food section is this gorgeous mug now can you yeah you can just about see it's got the 50th emblem on it and it's in this really nice iridescent glass um and i'm so chuffed with this it came to I want to say around 25 dollars um now there is a i probably should have mentioned it actually when i bought it but there is the tiniest mark which actually may have disappeared now that i've washed it a few times but there was the tiniest tiniest mark on it and i was like oh do you have any others and they didn't this was the last one and i bought it about two days before we left and they couldn't guarantee if there was going to be another stock coming in so i just committed and bought it and i love it I really love it it's really classy we have a coffee maker machine at home so when we have fancy coffees and stuff you can see it through the glass oh i just and actually it keeps my tea really really warm for a very long time so that's probably actually i want to say maybe my favorite purchase of the holiday and i'm so pleased i bought it because i very nearly didn't so very very pleased about that okay now staying on the disney theme we'll move on to disney snacks um got myself a few crispy treats I regretted not buying more of these last time I went. They are just under $6, probably $6 um, with tax, but I love these. I like to eat the M&Ms first and then munch away on the crispy treats. So I think I've got four of these. So they'll probably last me <laughs> not that long. But anyway, going to enjoy them very, very much. Um, now, I haven't tried this yet. I'm saving it for a movie night. But everyone always goes on about the Caramel Kucha think that's how you say it were there's original 
popcorn and they now sell it in sealed up bags which means it keeps longer rather than just having to buy it fresh so i bought myself a bag of this and it looks so yummy it's covered in toffee but also it's got like chocolate pieces in there as well so very much looking forward to saving that for a nice movie night sitting down and munching on this i want to say this was around seven dollars i really should learn from my past mistakes and write down how much everything costs but that was around seven dollars and then final Disney snacks of the trip. I got these for a good friend of mine and they absolutely adore sour sweets. So I don't know if these are going to be overly sour or not, but we will see. Hopefully they will enjoy them. And then I've always wanted to try these little snack packs. Again, I know you can get things like this in the UK and in America, but look, the packaging sold me, all right? <laughs> and both of these came to just over $5 because it was done on the weight of them. Um, and like, I mean, look, these have little Mickey pretzels in and everything. I'm such a pushover, I really am. Okay, now let's move on to my non-Disney purchases. I went for a little shopping spree in Disney Springs and popped into Basin, where there was a deal on where you could get seven bath bombs for $25. And basically, you used to be able to fill up a tube as full as you could, but they've changed it and it's a maximum of seven. And I got these and I wish you could smell it because they smell divine. But I've got one, two, three, four large bath bombs in there and three smaller ones. Um, I'm really worried that I'm going to tip them everywhere but they smell incredible and actually a huge thank you to the people that work in basin because they saw me badly filling up my box <laughs> and i was not gonna put seven in there um and they said oh let me sort that for you and they rearranged it so that i could fit in as many as i could so that was lovely um i don't have them anymore but the other thing i bought from basin was i got two hand soaps they were watermelon so cute because the seeds look like mickey's head and i just bought them for family so um they've already gone off to their respective homes um, but that was also something that I picked up and they were just over six dollars each for the hand soaps please don't come for me in the comments I know that I can get Bath and Body Works at home now that we're in the UK I know that you can buy it through Next however I can't easily get to Next I don't even know if they sell them in the stores it might just be an online thing I don't know but I, I like to smell things before I buy them I don't like buying scents i haven't smelt before online if that makes sense added to that there are a lot of scents in the us that we don't get over here in the uk so my particular favorite thing from bath and body works is the foaming hand soap and they had a deal on for five hand soaps for 25 dollars <clears throat> so i got myself five um again one's already gone off to um my mum uh, who really wanted one of these so i got two of the poppy gave one to my mum I got a sweet cinnamon pumpkin because fall's just around the corner. Um, I got a sunshine and lemons because that sounded lovely. And then I also got, I'm excited for this one, white coconut caramel. Coconut and vanilla are my two favorite scents. So that smells divine. There was also another deal for five hand sanitizers, mini hand sanitizers for $8. So I again got five, I gave one to a friend, um, but I've also got cucumber, melon, cranberry peach, marshmallow pumpkin latte and warm vanilla sugar and i just find these so so handy i really like them they're not overly greasy on my hands um out and about being a teacher all of that these are just so great to have so they will be going into my handbag and will be used very much so final non-disney purchase before we move on to the foods um and i i got myself a pair of levi's um so not only did I treat myself to a pair of jeans, I treated myself to a non-skinny pair of jeans, which, yeah, I'm just as shocked as you are. Me, little millennial me, who still won't move away from the side parting, I have parted from the skinny jeans. So this is quite a big move for me. Um, but Levi's, I've never owned a pair of Levi's before, so I'm very excited to now have my own pair. Um, and I did get like a, what was it, like 15% discount on them as well, as well as it just being cheap conversion from dollars to pounds it was fab so i think these came to just over a hundred dollars so that was my big purchase of the holiday a little treat to me and i will enjoy wearing them okay moving on to the final part of the trip uh, and that is the trip the final part of the haul and that is the food so we did have a little trip to target and bought a few bits so um i will start off with now a lot of my friends sent me requests 
for items and one of those items was peanut butter M&Ms so sadly I'm not going to have these in my possession for too much longer but um my friend really really wanted these so she'll be getting them later today actually I'm seeing her this afternoon how exciting um I am also a huge lover of the caramel M&Ms so I've I bought two family size packs but in my head it was so much better value I think it was like seven dollars for each bag which yes I know is a lot of money but I can't get these in the UK <laughs> so I've got them now and then I know I can get these in the UK but Reese's Pieces love them again these were a couple of dollars and you'd be spending like five six quid for that size bag maybe even more in the UK so it was just more that it was cheap more than I couldn't get them in the UK okay next up <gasps> i have always wanted to try these they came to like three dollars my friends and i are always like what is a twinkie <laughs> so <laughs> i saw them on the shelf and i couldn't not we're going on holiday together next week so i'm going to take the twinkies along and we will see once and for all what we think a twinkie is and whether we like it or not so twinkies um my friend absolutely adores cheetos again these are really hard to come by in the uk now especially the flaming hot so i got them um a pack of cheetos which i'm sure they'll enjoy you can see i've already broken into these but i got myself a bag of goldfish as well because i do love these just a really nice little snack and again like two dollars i realize this is not gourmet stuff that i'm buying but i just i can't get this in the uk and believe it or not that's the end <laughs> I was like there's one more thing but obviously I also got the Gideon's cookies and then I think the only other thing that I haven't mentioned because it's in the fridge and I can't be bothered to get it out is I got some a big old pot of um maple syrup it's Aunt Jemima's and I love it and if we buy it in the UK it costs like 10 quid so it was three dollars so I was like again by this point I was way over the weight with my bag anyway so I was like why not treat myself so that is my haul and it's so lovely to have these things to just remember the trip by um, and as I said before thank you so much for watching this vlog series I make these videos for myself just for the memories but to be able to share them with you guys just makes it that bit extra special so thank you um, for watching along and I am sure in the I don't even know I'm, I'm in August right now I don't even know when about this will get released but I'm pretty sure in the next month or so there may well be a Disneyland Paris Christmas trip for you all to enjoy so until then thank you so much for watching and until next time see you later <laughs>